Hey YouTubers, wanted to go ahead and do a vlog and tell you a couple things that uh, have transpired in my life and um, doing the dating thing or the meeting thing. Dating is when you see one person more than once. Meeting and greeting is the new thing that people do now online. Um, basically, you meet somebody and you discover that you hate them in person and you never see them again. That's pretty much what's been going on. I do not like to talk to somebody more than once or twice on the phone really quick. No endless emails back and forth um, before I meet somebody because I do not want to get to like them um, too much. I would rather talk to them on the phone, see if, yeah, I want to meet them and just meet them right away. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I met this uh, one person, um, I think, I don't know, about a week and a half ago. I don't even know. Days just bleed into one another uh, when I'm meeting people. Anyway, um, his name was Steve, and we messaged each other, text messaged each other, called each other, and this went on for about a week. And he could not wait to meet me. I, on the other hand, was neutral because this has happened to me so many times. And, you know, what is the point of getting all excited? So I have no expectations. But he couldn't wait to meet me shared poetry with me. Um, he said a lot of nice things. Like I said, I just had a funny feeling that it wasn't going to amount to much. I was not putting negativity out, out there, but I just had a funny feeling. I'm psychic, folks. Met him, spent three hours having dinner with him. I don't understand. If you're not feeling it and you're not attracted to the person, have your dinner, shut up, and just go home. Because as far as I'm concerned, I would have rather just had dinner and gotten the drift right away that you weren't interested by after you had your dinner. You even had a second drink. I don't get it. And you wanted to sit there for three hours and talk. After your dinner, which was done in about a half an hour, 45 minutes, say, you know, I want to see the Lakers game, um, so I want to go now. But he, you didn't do that. This guy didn't do that. Um, it was the night of uh, the Lakers game, and he just mentioned in passing, and I said, well, do, would you like to go? Just, you know, leave. It's okay. And he said, no. Um, I'll see the, the second half. Don't even worry about it. Let's sit here and enjoy each other's company. So I'm thinking he liked me, but still had kind of something in the back of my head saying, I don't think he likes me. Anyway, he hugged me um, when he walked me out to my car, didn't kiss me. And that could mean two things. He's a gentleman or he doesn't like you. He didn't like me. I get home and I said, I hope you're enjoying the Lakers game. And he ignores my text. First time that he had done that ever. So I said, oh, I said, silence, bad thing. No response. A little while later, he messages me, look, I don't want to disappoint you, but I didn't feel the connection. What made me angry was how he led up to the date by saying he couldn't wait to see me. This will probably be his last date. Just shut up. Before you say all the stupid shit, meet somebody. If you don't like them, you don't like them. Then nobody gets pissed off at you. Well, I let him have it. And of course, I never heard from him again. Because he didn't know how to respond. But you know, I didn't owe him a thing. He didn't owe me a thing. Fuck him. And this is how I feel about most of the people that I've met. I met 
a gentleman that has been out here in um, California for 18 years. He's from France. Different culture, um, very stoic, very somber kind of guy. Um, I met him, first time I met him was at a Starbucks. We sat there and talked, and he kept asking me to take my jacket off, and I know why he wanted to see my boobs. Nope, not going to do it. So anyway, we talked, we kept talking on the phone, he wanted to see me again, um, mentioned being physical, and I said, no, 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 ain't going to happen. He took me out for breakfast um, on a, our second meeting. Our, it could be our first date after our first meeting, whatever. And said he wanted to see me again. Didn't kiss me. Um, we talked on the phone again. He said he wanted to see me. And asked me if the next time he sees me, God, my hair sucks. I got my hair cut and it's in shock and I look like crap. I'm um, sorry. Um, he said that it went, the next time he saw me on our third date, he wanted to kiss me. I said, okay, fine. We went out to the first Starbucks again and he just sat there very quiet. I said, what's your problem? He talked about work an awful lot. That's all he did, complained about his job. It went on and on, and it was awful. And the I had just gotten my new car, so he looked at my car, and I'll uh, video tape it for you guys um, so you could see it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I got a new car. After six years of having the same car, I got a new car. Impulsive, and I'll talk about that later. Um, so anyways, this guy didn't kiss me. I text messaged him and asked him what his problem was. He said he didn't know. I don't know, dear. Mwah. See ya. So anyway, I uh, never saw him again. I think I texted him one more time and said, can you tell me what happened? He's like, I don't know, dear. Bye. Then I went out with this guy for breakfast meeting, which I usually don't do. And he was Lurch, or Herman Munster. Lurch from the Adams Family, Herman Munster from the Munsters. Interchangeable, six foot five, tall, skinny, long horse face. Kind of reminded me of Kerry, the presidential uh, candidate, and I think it was 2004. He I mean, whoa. And he was just touchy-feely. Ew. Anyways, Lurch or Herman Munster. So I wasn't attracted to him, and he was touchy. I think if he would have kept his hands off me and wasn't so touchy-touchy-feely-feely and talking about how well-endowed he was, he's like, I wear size 14 shoes. Whatever. Thanks for sharing, La. I'm, if, I don't know. He, no, maybe. I still wouldn't have been attracted to him. Then I got the best excuse for somebody blowing me off and not ever wanting to see me again. It was good. I've got to do this next time. Been, been talking to this guy for three weeks. This is what I'm saying. Get in and out. You meet somebody or you get in contact with somebody on a dating site, talk to them real quick. Do not text back and forth. Don't get to know them. Don't get any kind of preconceived notion that this guy's a perfect guy for you or a girl for you. Just don't do that. Um, just meet them. Three weeks I've been going back and forth with this guy. We both have not had the time to meet each other. Mostly him, not me, because he works for the studios and he doesn't have a lot of time to meet. So um, he finally wants to meet and he says, let me take you to an ice cream place, 31 flavors. I'm like, that's nice. And he uh, also said, you know, he wanted to get to know me and this will be the great way to break ice. We meet up at the ice cream place. We buy ice cream. We're standing outside because there's no place to sit in the inside. 
we're standing outside just talking and he go he goes so how's your work and I said killing me it's busy I'm tired and he says okay so um I just got to tell you something and I'm like yeah he says well um my work is uh, going out of town. I'm going to North Carolina for seven months. Oh, okay. He goes, you know, I just don't think we should start anything we can't finish. And I went like this to him. My thumb is green. I have a green thumb. That's awesome. You know what that's from? It is... Um, Green, winter green scented rubbing alcohol. And it got on my thumb. I have a green thumb. That was pretty funny. Anyway, so I was like, wow. I go, good excuse. He goes, I'm not making an excuse. I said, dude, when did you find out about this? Oh, today? So why did you meet me at all? You know, what I would have done if I was leaving the state for seven months, I would have said to the person that I've been talking to, I don't think we should meet. I'm leaving the state for seven months. It was just bullshit. So anyways, I, I emailed him on the site that we were, um, that we met on and I just told him you're full of crap. Um, and he didn't respond. So yeah, then um, I meet somebody that is another huge, gigantic dude, six foot four and about 300 pounds, but big guy doesn't bother me. Seemed like a pretty nice guy. Begins to tell me about his porno stuff that he's done on websites, running porno sites, worked for Playboy, wrote articles for Playboy, porn. And that he just broke up with somebody six weeks ago. And six weeks ago, he was doing crystal meth. That was it. I just told him I don't think that is going to work for me. And I told him, I said, you have no filter on your mouth. But I'm kind of glad he didn't. Why would I want to ever get involved with somebody like that? So, okay, long story short... Dating is sucking really bad. Um, there are going to be some people that I'm doing shout outs to. Um, Amore Muse, A M O R M U S E. And that's my friend Bjorn Defoe. Defoe, sorry. Um, he is an amazing uh, singer. He's got a whole bunch of uh, singing videos, and he's just an all around good guy. A motivational speaker of sorts um, for uh, uh, gay youth, and I think he's a um, definitely a good influence for young gay people out there because uh, it does get better. And he's living the dream, and he's gorgeous and sweet, and he's my baby boo. I love you, Bjorn. And so I'm gonna put his thingy, his link down there. I'm so bad at doing vlogs. I'm not even I'm not even organized anymore. Wanted to let you know that my friend Andrea, who interviewed me back in 2008 for my channel, um, she has made a documentary about me, and uh, I'll post the trailer link. Also, we're going to be in the Hollywood Fringe Film Festival. I'll put the link there. That's going to happen in June. Yikes! So wouldn't that be awesome if my channel caught on and other film festivals um, uh, were picking us up and maybe, just maybe, Mindy's life will really be a reality show because that's, at one point, my older son, and there's a, there's a vlog of me um, talking about my twisted life. I'm, I've got a twisted life. My life is a reality show. So anyways, I'm going to put all that stuff down there. It's almost 15 minutes. Got to go, boys, girls, uh, my YouTuber friends. I love you. And that's about it. Ciao. Bye.